getting to the point where I was working out too because it's like I needed to lose weight. So I started birth control. Like I'm working out, I'm eating healthy, and the scale's not moving. People actually hitting their goals with what I'm doing is triggering because it's like why can they hit their goals and I can't? It's taking over my life. Sometimes the thoughts get really bad to where I think something and then my mind pretty much thinks that I've done that thing. It's, I know it sounds like silly, that's why I don't really want to open up about it because it's just basically like why do you think that way? I don't know why I think that way. Hi guys, so I just wanted to make this video to share like what I've been going through and why I've been so inconsistent with uploading and just everything in my life right now that's been a struggle and really hard for me mentally to take on I guess. I just thought it'd be nice to give you guys an update on why like why I've been inconsistent and like what I've been going through. I just want everyone to be kind to everyone because you never know what people are dealing with on the inside even if they don't show it on the outside and I want to make this video for people who do have these struggles that feel like they're alone and they're not talked about enough and pretty much I just want to open up to make myself feel better and just get it all out there and um just I'm ready for people to know like what I'm going through and this video is pretty much going to be all over the place but just bear with me and it might be a little long I'm not sure how long this is going to be but I hope you enjoy the video just bear with me and keep on watching if you're interested the main things I'm going to be talking about are my mental health, what I've been going through, and my hormones. First, I'll talk about my... I'll talk about my hormones because I feel like it's going to be harder to talk about my mental health because I never really opened up about it before. As you all know, I've had um, two videos on it previously that I have been diagnosed with PCOS and I am still struggling with those issues. Ended up getting my blood drawn again and my testosterone levels were even higher than they were before and i'm not really sure why because i am on as i stated previously um testoquench to lower my testosterone and metformin because um i did not feel comfortable taking birth control and i thought that it would work enough um since it was just mainly my testosterone i really needed to bring down it did work like for a couple months it did work and then I just kind of hit like this plateau, I guess you want to call it, in the summer. And I'm not going to go into all the details on what I was going through just because it's kind of TMI. My bloating was insane. I didn't feel like myself. I'm, I was just extremely fatigued. I was working out all the time. Um, I love working out, like don't get me wrong, I'm not doing it because I hate my body, like I do love working out genuinely, but it was getting to the point where I was working out too because it's like I needed to lose weight, which was sad for me because I, I hate being in that mindset, like I'd rather just do it because I want to feel good and because I love to do it, but I was pretty much like over exerting myself just so I could get rid of the bloating and so I could look my best and it wouldn't go away no matter what I did. Fast forward, um, this was in quarantine by the way, um, fast forward to later in summer, somehow something just clicked and the bloating got better and everything was fine. Like I don't know what happened but I guess it just comes and goes for some reason. Fast forward again to a couple months ago I felt the same way. I blamed it on quarantine and not being able to lift weights because lifting weights for me regulates my hormones sort of and I mean in my experience so I was just like oh my gosh like this quarantine sucks like I don't have like my weights that I want to lift like I just have running and hit cardio. But I got back to the gym and I was lifting weights and <laughs> whoa like nothing happened like I still was feeling like crap so I decided to get my blood drawn again like I said it was higher than it was before so I started birth control I started my second pack a couple days ago and 
it is clearing my skin like I can tell that it is like really good with my skin oh yeah I had really bad back acne that I never had before like I never struggled with acne and then I just like clicked I was like oh like this could be my PCOS so yes my skin's clearing up on both my face and my back but I still struggled a lot with my bloating to where I just get so frustrated like I'm working out I'm eating healthy and the scale's not moving or I'm I don't look good in my clothes because of my bloating and yeah like my period was supposed to come and I was like okay well maybe that's why I'm bloated and my period came because my birth control is supposed to regulate my period because I wasn't really having one so or it was really inconsistent so I got it it was really light the bloating has gone away now that my period's over not like completely but it has gone down um I still am bloated though I'm not like I feel like I should look better for what I do and like all the work I put in and what I'm eating and it's just really frustrating it's frustrating to know like that I'm doing everything that I possibly can and I'm not getting anywhere and I'm just really stressed out like I am I'm really stressed out with how I look I I'm taking a break from social media because I just can't be surrounded by like workout videos and oh my gosh eat this to get ready for summer or I don't know like people actually hitting their goals with what I'm doing is triggering because it's like why can they hit their goals and I can't like I'm doing everything I can possibly even more and I'm still not getting to where I want to be so I decided to take a break I started reading more books I am reading more books right now um, just focusing on school and work um, meditating more I'm just tired of people without PCOS that are saying oh like just drink more water or oh just work out harder or you need to eat less calories than um what you're burning it's just really frustrating to hear because it's like i'm doing all that like i'm doing it and the hormones are just stopping it and it's not my fault i'm hoping for the best with this birth control and i do have to give it a chance like i'm only on my second pack so I just wanted to give an update on that and how I feel it's just it's hard to hear like those people that do have PCOS are like I lost 30 pounds from it from going keto or paleo and not having carbs and I was like okay and the other ones that are like oh well you're eating too much fruit like other people can have fruit but we can't because we we have PCOS so like we can't we can't have fruit or we can't have honey or dates which is crazy to me because it's like it's not fair and i really don't want to give myself any restrictions especially for eating fruit i don't want to be like oh i want an orange and be like oh i can't have that because that's unhealthy for me it's an orange like why can't i have an orange it's just frustrating like basically i i guess i'm stubborn because i don't want to restrict my diet and I don't want to do this and this and this to get rid of it because I know that I'm healthy I don't know like I don't know if this makes sense at all like I don't know if you're gonna be like well you have to because you have PCOS I don't know I'm rambling but anyway that's what I'm going through with that and I hope it gets better and I will update you more on how I feel later but basically that's what's been going on with my PCOS and my hormones and my body issues. I don't know the last time I felt pretty. I don't know the last time I felt confident with my body. I don't know. I'm hoping that it'll get better and some miracle will happen. But that's that. Moving on. Let's move on to mental health, which is going to be a little difficult, a little bit more difficult to talk about because I never, only a few people know about this, but, um, I decided to open up about it just in case other people have it and are confused by it but I have really bad anxiety and this anxiety has been gotten has gotten so bad to where I've developed OCD 
I have really bad intrusive thoughts to where um, it makes me feel that I am a bad person, um, that I'm constantly guilty. Um, it gets to the point where I get very, very sad. I don't want to say depressed, but it gets to the point where I get really upset with myself and um, really down on myself and I just think that um, nothing in the world is more important than these thoughts that make me feel like this and I don't really know what triggered it I think I've al always kind of had a little bit but it's just gotten really bad when quarantine started I do watch I will link her videos down below her name's Allie Graymond she is a really good OCD therapist that I've been watching on YouTube. Her videos it helped me tremendously and I'm trying to do everything that she's telling everyone to do which is pretty much disregard the thoughts which is harder than it seems. Tell yourself that they're just thoughts, they don't make you a bad person and pretty much just saying I am a bad person like yeah like give me all the thoughts pretty much like kind of a reverse psychology it's getting to the point where it's taking over my life and my friendships and relationships like I don't really want to go out I don't really want to do anything because um, I'm scared that I'll get more thoughts pretty much exposing myself to the world and just thinking that I'm doing something bad or being a bad person um, like I don't want to go into like deep deep like I know this is supposed to be I'm supposed to be vulnerable here and I am just by telling you that I have it it just gets to the point where I get a thought and I feel guilty and sad and I feel like I have to do compulsions which compulsions are pretty much things to do that you think are going to going to relieve the OCD which don't work because I've done it so many times but basically my compulsions are confessing to someone like what I've done or what I think I've done asking for reassurance to make sure that I'm not a bad person like I would say those were my biggest ones I also ruminate a lot think about the thought trying to analyze like why I thought this thought and why like I'm a bad person basically because I thought it sometimes the thoughts get really bad to where I think something and then my mind pretty much thinks that I've done that thing um, for example let's say I thought that I cheated on my boyfriend it gets so real to where I think that I really did and it gets scary and it's just like why why do I think this way when I didn't even do anything and it gets exhausting it really does it makes me very very sad and it's hard to deal with um, other days are better than other days it, it, I know it sounds like silly that's why I don't really want to open up about it because it's just basically like why do you think that way I don't know why I think that way um, but it's just what I struggle with I am going to get better like I am like I'm in recover like I'm recovering um, I know it can take a while it says like six months to a year but I haven't been giving in to my compulsions, I've been staying strong, I've been disregarding, and just trying to remind myself that I'm only human and thoughts don't make you a bad person as much as they make me feel like I am. I know that I didn't do anything wrong and I'm just trying, I know that they're not real as much as they like feel like they're real, they're not. I'm going to keep pushing and... I'm going to keep disregarding and that's all I can do right now like this is like the beginning of my recovery with OCD and I just wanted to open up about I feel like I haven't really heard a lot about this before I've heard a lot about anxiety and depression um, eating disorders um, body dysmorphia but I don't hear a lot about OCD which is interesting because I am curious to see if any other person struggles with what I do with intrusive thoughts leave a comment down below if you do if you're comfortable saying that you do I would love to have I would love to have a conversation with you about it just to know that like we're not alone and we can do this together I don't know how long this video is but I just wanted to open up about those things and they're kind of deep they're kind of a lot and 
I give you props for sitting through this video and listening to me vent it out pretty much and I hope you guys have a great day, night, whatever, whenever you're watching this video and I will be more consistent. I know that YouTube takes my mind off of a lot of things and I know that I enjoy it and it's a nice hobby for me to get my mind straight. So thank you for watching and remember to subscribe, turn on your notifications since like I'm so inconsistent but I'm going to try to upload maybe every couple weeks, every month maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I will try to do better though. I really would like to do a week, weekly video or every other week. So just keep an eye out for that and leave a comment down below if you'd like to start a conversation with me about these issues. And yeah, I think that's all I want to say. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.